Welcome, my name is Peru or Peru Laru, and I'm sorry, that's a little bit of a change. This is like my work makeup look. I am just commencing my eyeshadow primer face off that I have going on. It's going to take me two or three weeks to sort of get it all together, but I'm really looking forward to sharing that video with you guys. I have quite a lot of eyeshadow primers to compare with you, but I thought it was so much fun. Um, my collab with Annette just went up today. I'm going to have to work pretty soon, but I thought it would be fun. For all of you guys who've come over to my channel from Annette's channel for me to share some of the products that she has made me buy and surprisingly it's actually quite a lot I I do find that Annette and myself have quite similar likes and we do get very oily and so sometimes a lot of the recommendations do work out and there's definitely a lot of things that just from watching someone every day you do end up feeling like you want to buy it so I thought I will share what I've bought and I can share some opinions about some of the stuff but starting off, I have it all here. Uh, one of the things that I bought because of Annette, let me just check because it looks better, is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I have it in the shade True Ivory. Uh, this is a foundation that she was using for a long time. She's on the Pretty Vulgar at the moment. But this foundation is actually really good. It's really long stay, like long lasting on oily skin and it's really decent. I was super impressed by this recommendation and it was a cheap pickup, really worth it if, especially if you have oily skin another thing that i think a lot of us are probably influenced by is just buying jeffree style lips i feel like seeing her being so creative with these lips it just really inspires you to pick them up and i hope that you can play with them and they do really like the formula in these is amazing this is one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas i don't think i can ever stop buying them because they're just perfect and Annette definitely influences me because I always think when I buy one, I'm like, okay, I'm going to be super creative and put dots on or use it as eyeliner, which I never do because like, that just seems like a lot of work sometimes. Uh, but I always have that in my back of my mind. I'm like, oh, should I pick this up for an eyeshadow thing? And I've been eyeing out those little mini collections that he has. I think I definitely will pick one of them up because it looks like Annette just like gets so much use out of them. And they seem like they must be really good li like liners. I don't know. I feel like she just always inspires me that I need more Jeffree Star lips in my life. And on that note, I actually have bought the Dotting Tongs. Um, Amazon isn't like really, like it is here in Australia, but it's like not that good. I think I bought these off AliExpress because I buy most things from AliExpress. And they are just these super cool Dotting Tongs, which I have never used. Um, I'm not sure if I will use them, but I bought them thanks to Annette. I also recently picked up the Smashbox lid primer in light because she's maneuvered away from the MAC paint pot and I don't know it's strange seeing her use a different product and look if Annette is you know likes that much I've got to give it a try uh, yeah so I bought it solely because of Annette another thing that she sold me on is the cover effects blush I think I had a look and she definitely was using the Moave Moive. And yeah, I, I do label all of mine when they sort of come into my collection. Just means July 2019. So I know how old they are. And this blush is just lovely. I'm not sure like what I think of the top aside. I don't think I've ever... Actually, that's got a fair amount of pigment. I do try and use it, but I definitely love this shade and I want to pick more up of these blushes. They are beautiful and the bronzes look amazing and the, I think they're worth the price. I think they're worth it. Have you tried them? Do you think they're worth them? Because they are a bit on the pricey side, but you know, they're good. I like them and I love this sleek packaging. I kind of maybe wish it was in a different color just so it wouldn't get so dirty, but they're beautiful. The one thing I will say is that if you're looking for blush recommendations, Everyone has different preferences. I usually am just better at dealing with blush that is uh, soft, as not as pigmented formula, and then building it up. Annette definitely loves a pigmented blush, and it's, sometimes it's just a lot. Oh my god, I nearly forgot. She definitely inspired me to buy this palette, which is the Morphe Blush Palette. When I went to the Morphe store when I was in London, I didn't find any of the duos, so I ended up picking this one up. And it's really lovely, but this is also pigmented. And that's just one thing to be aware of, like to know the preferences of the person that you're getting inspired to buy from. Because some of us will like a blush that's not as much 
like doesn't have as much pigment and some of us will like a pigmented blush where you don't have to do too much work it just depends one of the other things that she definitely inspired me to pick up was the Clamlight Pizza Slices. She didn't end up buying this because I think she was on her way to Norway when these were going to come out. And she has done a lot of Glamlight videos. So it was kind of fun. Uh, but the Glamlight Pizza Slices definitely caught my attention because they're a little bit... They're not as big as the other ones. This is the Veggie Lovers and then I've got Meat Lovers. I'm not a big fan of the Meat Lovers formula, but I do enjoy the Veggie Lovers formula and the color scheme is just really nice. I picked up the Sugar Pill Mini Pillar and some of these products I did just show in my haul on the weekend. So if you want to see me talk maybe more about them, go check that video out and watch me mask and stuff. But I wasn't going to pick this up and then I watched the next video and I was like, I want it. If you've been on uh, my channel for a long time, you would know that, I don't know, I've been complaining about wanting the Creepy Cute for so long. I'm sorry, that's why I keep mentioning it, because I finally have it. And I would say Annette's definitely one of those person, people who pushed me over the edge to just, like, just buy it already. And that is Creepy Cute Divinity. I am happy I picked it up. It is cute. It's nice. And it's beautiful. I do need to play a bit more with Divinity. I need to play with both of these more. But... She definitely inspired me to finally pick them up because she still talks about how much she loves this formula. And she has tried so much more than I have ever tried. Another thing that she has definitely inspired my help, my thing for, and she has helped me pick out, these aren't all of them, but some of my Morphe blending brushes, which are really good. She does have a video that is about small brushes for hooded eyes. I'll link it down below where she talks about her favorite brushes and the Morphe brushes up there. When I went to the Morphe store, I think like the night before I like messaged her, I was like, what Morphe brushes do I need? <laughs> and then I went and just bought all the ones she recommended. And I've been, loved them. I've been using them. I've had them for probably four or five months now. And I use them all the time. One of the brands that she definitely talks about all the time is Menagerie Cosmetics. And she 100% inspired this purchase of the Feral palette and my singles. She actually helped me pick out the bottom four singles, which I swatched and talk a bit more about in my haul. But this is my custom made palette from Menagerie and the singles that I have. I do also have Whale Ink. I want to call it Whale Ink all the time. The Violet in Ink palette. This came to me broken. which And I definitely, the only reason I sort of, Menagerie is kind of really on my radar is because of Annette and her amazing videos on them. She just does amazing videos. And I love seeing the looks that she creates. Another video while I'm talking about all this that I remember is that she inspired me to finally pick up the Arkeo. I'm so scared to say their name, but Cleon, Cleona, Cleona Cosmetics. I had been eyeing this palette off for so long. Annette does not have it in her collection. But I remember talking to her and I think I was talking to her for like a week about it because it was on, it being released or it was being released and I was like, do I need it? Do I want it? I don't know. And then she was like, if you like are thinking about it this much, like just buy it. And I did and I'm so glad to have something like that in my collection. It's just so unique. And that's one of the things that I love about Annette. She really inspires you to get unique things to your collection and play with colorful makeup. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm just coming in quickly, but I completely forgot to mention one of the best things that Annette made me buy, and I, I still don't have it though, I'm a bit sad, but I'm really excited for when it comes in, and that is her collab with Popstash on Etsy, and it's the AMC collection of containers. They look super cute, and I'm so excited for them to arrive. I love storing all my stuff in like cute little containers. It's just, it's just adorable. So... Yeah, I'd love to know if you have picked up her collab yet. I'll link it down below if you're interested in checking it out. And it's just pretty cool to see. All right, <laughs> we'll finish up. Sorry, I just had to mention that one as well. So I thought this would just be a fun video to share with you guys about some of the stuff that Annette has inspired me to buy. And even though I know on my haul that I just put up on the weekend that she was like, I feel responsible for everything here. And I was like, yeah, you should. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if there is anything that Annette has inspired you to buy and what you think of it. I'd love to know your thoughts or if you've tried any of these products and what your thoughts are on them. It's just fun to know what you guys like and what I like. Yeah. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. If this is your first time here, I'd love it if you would consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. And if you're returning, like, you guys, you know, you mean the world to me. Thank you so much for stopping by. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.